It's the day Devin picks up his new truck. Let's get this thing fired up. No, never gets old. I'm gonna keep the truck parked back over here around the corner, covered up by the barn, because he's gonna be coming from the west. So he's gonna be coming up and pulling up over here, and I wanna keep the truck nice and hidden around this corner. That way he can get the full effect all at once, and not just kinda like slowly wander up to it from all the way over where he's gonna be parking and see it the whole time. So we're gonna go get the other two vehicles. I'm gonna get the six speed. I'm gonna park it out here and the Hellcat just because those two vehicles are also up for grabs right now. So for the Hellcat, if you wanna get two times the entries towards winning that car plus $5,000 cash, two times the entries end on July 3rd. The giveaway ends on July 22nd though. Let's get that straight. When we are talking about bonus entry periods and when those end, it's different than the actual end date. That's posted on the picture on the website and all the information is on the website but two times entries towards winning that car end July 3rd and the 5X entries for the six speed end tonight. So do not waste any time. Now to start up the six speed. This truck really is awesome. I'm, I'm so freaking torn on this whole leather thing because it's still scheduled to get done, but the guys like still with all the crap, it's just taking forever to get stuff. I kind of forgot we put this big old Uconnect system in here. I haven't driven this truck in about two weeks. Let's start this thing up. But in terms of the whole, you know, backup on stuff with leather even, it's still the same with our clothing stuff right now. Like our production team is at full production again, but that does not mean everything shipping out same day or within two or three days like it used to. Because of all the COVID crap, and I know if people are like, oh, you can't use COVID as an excuse. Amazon still ships two day and all this other crap. It's not even the same thing. Amazon never had to cut back. They're an essential business. They have hundreds of thousands of employees. That is what they specialize in, is getting stuff to you the very next day and providing enough products and services to where they can't get shut down for that kind of stuff. So they bulletproof themselves, which is good. The only problem is with clothing business, you're not considered essential, you sell freaking t-shirts. We don't sell food, we don't sell like necessary supplies apparently. Like So therefore our production team was cut way back and then what happens is everything gets backed up and backed up and backed up and then even though everything's at full force again, there was a month or two where everybody's at 50% speed which means everything's just racking up, orders are stacking up and they're just not getting out as fast. So now they're still picking back up because they just got back to full production about a week ago. So everything should be smoothing back out but just to put it into perspective so that's what went on and now everything's at full speed again but it's they're still just kind of picking up the slack a little bit from that whole span of just getting hammered on with basically back order because of all the stupid restrictions and rules which are different for every business and different for every state and even down to the county so if you say oh over here in my state in my county Everything's back up to speed a month ago, so you should have been. That's not how it works. You gotta think a little bit beyond your own current exact location and situation, because it, it's just, it's all dumb in the first place and none of it ever should have happened, but it's really not just like a cookie cutter thing across the board. Last but not least, time to fire up the Hellcat. They're here guys. Let's see how this goes. Everybody showed up. We've got Devin, Ethan, yep. Christian, Dylan. Dylan. Just had to learn real <laughs> quick. Anyways, they all came from Minnesota. 11 and a half hour drive. Feel a little bit bad, but I think it'll be well worth it on your end. I mean, yeah. you got a truck and a bunch of cash. So we're gonna pull the truck out and let them get to start looking around this thing. I think I think you're gonna like it, man. I think he likes it. You said it's bigger in person, huh? Oh yeah, a lot bigger <laughs> in person. Right. Seems huge in here, holy. So how's the hop getting in? Yeah, it's pretty it's high. It's a hop. <laughs> I almost took my boots off. Yeah. It sounds nice. Yeah, it does. Yeah, dude. It's got the switch oh, is God, down by like the nice. parking brake. Yeah. It's your five position tune, so you can like flip it and okay. do whatever you want. I think it's all the way turned down right now, I, I think. But it's a lot it's a lot of fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
to feel real now. We were talking about it on the phone. I'm yeah. like, we're gonna have to wait until we get you in the truck for you to believe it. Who, who's the most jealous of this truck right now? <laughs> I mean, probably. We're the only two without vehicles, so. <laughs> yeah. So you two. <laughs> yeah, probably, probably. My little cousin went in a brand new truck. <laughs> a big brand new truck. Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Oh, yes. First drive. I did. Everything Definitely. you ever hoped for. Yep, and more. Oh, well, that's good. That's what we like to hear. We're going to go show him that other truck right over there because he's kind of interested in that Uconnect system. We're going to start the Duramax out. <laughs> It's different, doesn't yeah. it? It just sounds different. Yeah. Totally like different. Like how like, deep and throaty it sounds. Yeah, it just sounds so different. Well, that's it. Chuck signed over. He's taking it home, $5,000. Had a really good time, really good time. There he goes with his 2018 6 7 Cummins and $5,000 cash. So, the DV build's gone. How do you feel about that? You upset? A little sad? No, I wasn't out here for a reason. <laughs> Is that really why you didn't come out here? No. Oh. But I heard, I heard it drive off. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> but, anyway, so those guys headed out a while ago. It's pretty late in the afternoon now. We're pretty much going to, I'm gonna go check on some trail cameras. We'll put some trail cameras out, check on some food plot stuff over at my parents' property, and then give you guys an update on that stuff because I know I mentioned in several videos back that we were planting corn and beans over there. That was put in, we didn't plant it, but we had a neighbor plant it and paid him to do it. And so we're gonna go check on that, see if anything's sprouting up, if anything's growing. That was a clean freaking Ford, oh my gosh. It was a gas truck, but it was like an old 94 F-250 that looked like man. Anyways, we're gonna go check on that stuff, and then in terms of anything else, I'm not I'm not sure, but I'll give you an update on the chickens too, actually, while I'm out here. How did you get all those, by the way? That's not that wanna, many compared to those that? horse people. That's from like a year of showing. One year of showing? Yeah. Like, what did you do, though? I don't even remember. Let's like, see. Huh? Equitation. Okay. Hey, you probably don't. No, I don't know anything about that. English. Know. Oh, English. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's why we have the pig tub. Some people don't understand the pig tub, but that's exactly why we have it right there. Because they love this stupid thing, and they both get in there all the time. And here's the chickens. Here's an update on the chickens. We've got the little guys all right here in their own little corner. And then you've got the big... Ducks and chickens. They're actually not like they're not full grown, but do they have access to go out right now? They did, but I think the dog shut it. We've got Mr. Scout here, and then we've got Yoda. Yoda, get your butt away from the stinking gate. But anyway, so we got the chicks over in the corner, and the reason for that is they're trying to get them to kind of familiarize themselves with the other ones, and vice versa, so that when we do let them out. They don't just want to kill each other. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it works. I don't know if it'll work or not, but we'll see. Turn this ice cold AC off. How cold is this AC? My legs are cold. It's really cold. It's really cold. So we're over at the property, rolling up on the first location. I don't know how much this stuff has grown since it was planted because it's only been like a week. So it might not be like sticking up at all, <laughs> but uh, we're about to find out. We're gonna get out over here. I'm gonna look at it. And, see what we got growing over here and see how it's looking so here's the first plot according to my dad you'll see well yeah you can see some of it some of it right here that looks like a bean plant yeah looks like a bean but i think he said all of this over here was beans and then everything from like i want to say like 20 yards out from the field edge in was corn how this stuff is gonna grow without being like sprayed and treated throughout the summer, I don't know, but we'll find out. The corn definitely looks like it's coming up good. Here's the corn starting. There's definitely corn coming up there. All this, I mean, all this row, there's all coming up. You can see it all coming up in a row there. 
There's a whole bunch of it actually coming up all down over there. Lots of it coming up. The beans, I don't know. It's hard to tell. I don't really see many beans coming up. I see a lot of corn. I don't see much beans. The problem with the beans that I'm seeing is most of them, I don't know how they're supposed to be, but if you ask me, I don't think they're supposed to just be laying on top of the dirt. Maybe I'm wrong. Could be wrong. I've never planted beans before, so I don't really know what I'm talking about. But like these beans are like laying on top of the dirt and there's nothing like falling in over top of them. But you can see where the dirt was covering them like this there's some bean plant coming up so I don't know it's hard to say I do see a lot of thistles growing though which isn't a good thing but I definitely see some thistles growing up through here there's definitely some beans sprouting though As you can see there's a couple more little ones here sprouting up but unless it gets going here pretty good it might be some competition for that stuff to grow with the deer browse pressure on that stuff but we'll see we're gonna go check on the next one also the soil could be a little bit different spot to spot or maybe he didn't seed this one as well as he did the other ones i don't know man look at your truck sitting over here oh my last day for 5x entries location number two corn looks like it's doing really good and i'm gonna pull up a little bit more here and then over here you've got the beans and the beans over here are actually growing pretty good in the other location they were a little bit spotty but over here there's a lot of beans poking up these are all soybean all that soybean I mean it's all coming up real nice over here so the goal for us is we wanted this to be like basically like a third of it corn and the two other other two-thirds to be bean and the reason we wanted to do that is we're gonna have a deer stand over in the corner over here and hopefully what that does is it can create kind of like a screen for us to sneak in on this path over here to kind of sneak up to that stand behind the corn come mid-september all the way obviously through the season and then if there's deer out here in the morning before they head into bedding feeding or about to come out to feed heading across the field here basically they don't see us if they're already in transition and it gives us some cover and it gives the deer some cover as well if they're in along the pond let's say i mean looks good so far and this is probably i want to say like half of an acre to a three quarter acre area but it's probably about it so she's gonna get the camera out because she's got her slides and she's all ready to go so she's gonna get the camera across the creek it, it's really not anything significant to cross this creek except for the fact that we've got low profile mud tires on it and forged the wheels so we'll see what happens I say we clickbait to something crazy like I took my pavement princess off-road or something like classic clickbait so we checked on the corn and beans and the corn and beans are all looking pretty good other than one spots looking kind of not so great where I could see the seeds just like laying in the dirt I noticed the clover that I planted back in April is about eight inches tall right now but there's a lot of competing weeds but now that it's well rooted I'm thinking about grabbing the tractor hooking up the bush hog mowing it off real quick at the highest setting that way it'll just kind of like beat the weeds down and now that the clover is well rooted it'll just kind of like shoot up and kind of overtake it so we're gonna go do that right now hopefully that turns out really good well fam it is the next day actually we were not able to use the tractor last night because it was not there but we got the six speed all hooked up to the lawn care trailer and we've got the mower loaded up so i'm just going to take my own mower over there because the tractor's gone and mow off those clover food plots and get those preps so that they can take off a little bit better Oh, I love driving this thing.
at the land. Got the mower over here. I'm not sure what all I'm gonna mow. I know that I wanna for sure focus on getting those food plots mowed off because we have a dry day right now and then it's gonna start raining a bunch again so I wanna get those done. Grass is actually pretty well dried out. I got up at 5.30 to get over here really early and I came out and the grass was wet. So I gave it until about seven before I left the house. But it's all pretty dry now, it's not, it's not bad. So um, we're gonna get back here, start to cut this off. I may come up here and mow some more just around the barn for my dad just because he doesn't have a mower over here right now and the tractor's not over here right now. So I don't want it to like get out of hand when I have a mower right here and it's completely manageable right now. But another weekend it'll be not fun for a zero turn. So anyways, we're gonna get this unloaded, get to mowing everything off and hopefully you guys enjoy this. Like I said, I'm back to just kind of like, I'm gonna film whatever I feel like I wanna film each day and whatever makes me happy and that's that's pretty much it. So. Like it, love it or hate it, that's what I'm doing. I actually went back and forth, side to side, north to south, not east to west, but looks pretty good. Turned out good. I couldn't really do all that. That stuff's getting pretty crazy over there. I'll have to use a tractor for that stuff, but I just got all this stuff around here, stuff over around the barn, just everything that I could get to easily and get it done. All that alfalfa, by the way, and orchard grass that we planted, it's all looking pretty good. It's starting to sprout up pretty thick in some areas. Because we really weren't sure how it was gonna turn out just because we've never planted hay before really. It's turning out pretty good. It's growing pretty nice. So can't wait to see how it turns out when it's done. Good news as well. I got another piece of good news for you guys. So I just got a call from the leather guy and he says that the leather finally showed up for this truck. Which means he said we can drop the truck off today and he should have it back to me within about 48 hours. So we might get the truck dropped off today, but just letting you guys know what's in the loop, how things are going, the progress on everything. And that's the final touch for this truck. Everything else that we wanted to do to it is pretty much done. We did all the color matching, all the headlight, taillight, third brake light, all that stuff was all swapped out with what we want. The final touch, the Uconnect system's in, Just we, we just need the leather interior for this truck to be complete, otherwise it's just not gonna look complete. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And do not forget that if you wanna win the six speed manual Cummins or the 2018 Hellcat we're giving away, links are in the description. PDAparelco.com for the Hellcat plus $5,000 cash or LNPgear.com for the six-speed manual Cummins plus $5,000 cash. The six-speed Cummins giveaway, 5X entries end today and then it's dropping down. So the 5X entry deal will be gone and it won't be coming back. In terms of the Hellcat giveaway, two times the bonus entries end on July 3rd. So that's ending soon. And the six-speed manual Cummins giveaway, just so you guys know, ends on July 15th, which is in hardly more than two weeks. And then this giveaway will be gone. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. You guys are awesome. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like on the video, turn on the post notifications, because I do not want you guys to miss out on any of the content. That is if you want to keep seeing it, of course. Anyways, guys, thanks so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.